Okay, so in number seven, we're given the measure of angle A. So if this is triangle ABC, remember C is always the right angle, and angle A is given as 27 degrees. Side B has to be opposite angle B, and that's equal to one. And we're looking for little side C. So I know the side adjacent to my angle, and I want to find the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that is the cosine formula. And cosine is the ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of our angle, 27 degrees, is the adjacent, which is one, over the hypotenuse C. And then when we cross multiply and divide both sides by the cosine of 27, C is equal to one over cosine of 27 degrees, which we're gonna put into the calculator in degree mode. So one divided by cosine of 27, rounding to two decimal places is one point one, two. Okay, in problem eight, the right angle is always angle C. That's opposite the hypotenuse, little letter C, which is given as 10. Then we can label our other angles, capital A and capital B. And side B has to be opposite angle B. So this given side B is equal to eight and we're looking for the measure of angle B, which is this angle. We know the hypotenuse, and we know the side that is opposite. Opposite and hypotenuse is the sine ratio. So the sine of theta being the opposite over the hypotenuse means that the sine of angle B is equal to eight over 10. And to undo a sine function, we have to do the inverse. When we do the sine inverse of both sides, angle B then is equal to the arc sine of four fifths. And we're gonna put that in the calculator in degree mode. So arc sine of the ratio four fifths rounded to two decimals is 53.13 degrees. Okay, then in number nine, our right angle is C and the hypotenuse is little c that's given as 11. Angles A and B are labeled and angle B is given as 60 degrees. And we want to find side A, that's opposite angle A. So we know the angle, the hypotenuse, and we're looking for the side adjacent to the angle. Adjacent and hypotenuse is the cosine ratio. So we have the cosine of 60 degrees is equal to A over 11. Then we're gonna multiply both sides by 11 to get A by itself. And in degree mode, 11 times the cosine of 60 degrees is exactly 5.5. So we use an equal sign instead of an approximately equal because we didn't round anything. Okay, then in number 10, the right angle is always the uh, capital C. Then our other angles, A and B. Side A has to be opposite angle A, so little a equals four. And side B must be opposite angle B, so little b is equal to 13. And we're trying to find the measure of angle A. We know the side opposite 
and we know the side adjacent and tangent of theta is the ratio opposite over adjacent. So we're looking for the tangent of angle A and opposite is four and adjacent is 13. So we take the tangent inverse of both sides and A then is equal to the arctan of the ratio four over 13. So in the calculator in degree mode, we do second tangent to get arctan, and then four divided by 13, rounded to two decimal places, is 17.10 degrees. Okay, don't forget your degree symbol when you're finding angle measures um, so they're not confused with radian measures.